guys, welcome to the second video of Graphic Design 2 here. I'm going to walk you through um, how to convert an image into a vector image. Um, we're going to learn how to, well, we're going to use the pen tool to, to achieve this look. Um, and what we're going for is something that looks like this, right? So here is an image of a, uh, there you go, of a band that I like. So here you go, you got this. So what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to convert this image, basic pixelated image. If you zoom in too far, you'll see it's really pixelated. Right, we're going to turn that into this really hype, like a uh, cool stylized um, your style. All right. So what you see here is you can get like this kind of look. When I zoom in on that, uh, you see it doesn't it doesn't pixelate at all because we're dealing with uh, vector designs. Okay. So I talked a little bit about that in class. Why you why we want to do that and what what good it is. And basically what it is is it allows you to infinitely uh, blow up or zoom in on something and it won't show any pixelization. And it's also just a really unique stylized version of something like you can take that conversion that I've done here. You can do it in many different styles. You can do like really smooth and really nice. You can do blocky, whatever, uh, but then you can apply it to any kind of design that you'd like to create. So or I'm imagining in this, in this image, and maybe I'd have like cool, like psychedelic swirls and stuff coming off of this or like music notes or whatever. So you can, you can take a photograph and you can convert it into this hyper stylized vector style and then you can make it um make it where whatever you want you can use this skill and then your artistic ability and your imagination to create like very beautiful uh designs okay so having said that i'm going to show you how to do this <clears throat> what you want to do is this okay so i've got a brand new uh, a blank sheet here that I'll, I'll use so i found an image that i'm going to convert this to all right so you find an image from you know, the internet or whatever, save it wherever you want. Doesn't have to be from the internet. Maybe it's a photograph of yourself. And then we're just gonna go to file, place, file, place. And when I do that, you'll see, I've got a couple of photos saved on my desktop here. I'll use this one here, uh, file, place. And I'm just gonna drag it into my space like so. And there we go. There, there's a cool version of that, <clears throat> excuse me. So now what I'm gonna do is I want to open up my layers panel, which is right here. This is my layers panel. You'll see that in layer one, there's only this image, this one thing. So what I want to do is in this little space right here next to the eye, this eye toggles visibility. So you can see it or you can't see it. Right next to it, there's an empty space. If you click on it, it'll lock that layer so that you can't do anything to it. It's like in the background now. Okay, so then from here, I'm going to go to create new layer right here. Boom, and then I'm gonna be working in layer two on top of this particular thing. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna convert this image into that vector style. So I'm gonna start by zooming in really closely, like this, up there. And what we wanna do with this is I want you to try to focus on not seeing this as an actual image. Don't think of it as someone's face. Just think about it as, as chunks of color. And we're gonna to try to identify areas of color, encircle them with our pen tool, and then fill them with a the color. That's all it is. You can do this with any kind of uh, photograph at all. It doesn't have to be a face. And in fact, it works better if you don't think of it as a face. Okay, so how do we do it? Here we go. So what you're gonna be using for this is your pen tool. This is the tool that you're gonna be using. This part here is important. I want you to make sure before you begin, you just eliminate the stroke altogether. We do not need a stroke. Click on this stroke thing and just go to none so we don't have a stroke. Uh, and then also it's going to be a little weird, but we're also going to come down here to the bottom of my toolbar here. And we're also going to remove the fill. So there's a little spot right here where you can change this. You see your big square here. Just click on this little red line and it will make it uh, so that you have like, you basically have invisible ink at the moment. There's no fill, there's no stroke. And you'll see why we're going to do that in a second. What I want to do is I'm, whenever I'm trying to like uh, convert a photograph into like a vector style, you want to kind of start from a central place on the image, and particularly something that's gonna have like a lot of detail. <clears throat> and when you're doing faces, it's good in my opinion to start from like the eye. Okay, so the very first thing you wanna do, you've got your pen tool selected. We want to encircle an area of color. One little trick I've found when I'm trying to do this is if I squint my eyes like this, uh, you can actually see the chunks of color a little bit better. So if I squint my eyes, there's this little white spot right here on the eye. I'm gonna go around it with my pen tool. So remember, I click once to start my line, go to the end of that edge, then click and drag to get that smooth line. 
Okay, so I've got that. I've created, if you zoom in, I'll, if I zoom in, I'll show you. I've created this little outline around roughly where that chunk of white is, okay? So once I've done that, completed the line, now what I wanna do is I wanna go back over here to my eyedropper tool. That's this one right here. And what it'll do is if you click on it and you move it into your workspace here, you just click on one of these pixels within that space that you think best represents that color. Pick on one of them, you click it, and then it fills that color with that, or it fills that shape with that color. Okay, so that's essentially what we're gonna be doing, except there's a little bit more to it, so watch. So I've made my first shape. Now what I wanna do is I wanna go back to my black arrow, click away from it for a minute, and then, and then you can see that there's that little shape right, right there, okay? So the next thing I wanna do is every shape I make from here, I'm gonna be sort of working uh, like circularly. I'm gonna be working out from the middle, almost like a spiral. <clears throat> so what you wanna do next is if you click on your pen tool, back to your pen tool, come on over here and remove your fill again so you can see where you're going. And then the next thing I wanna do, I'm gonna squint my eyes again and I think, what is a color uh, touching this one that I just made uh, that I can encircle, that I can create a, uh, a pen tool outline around? And I'm gonna just go with the, the pupil here, okay? So I go around the pupil. There we go. I'm gonna go around it like that. I'm just trying to encircle that color, that area. And then when I get to here, watch this. If I just click out, it doesn't matter where I click now. See that? I don't even care where I go. You'll see why in a second. So I've created my shape. I go over to my eyedropper tool, come back in and select one of these pixels in here that represents that color, like that. And now you're looking at it like, wow, that doesn't look good at all. Well, here's the big trick, okay? The real big trick here, and this is where you're gonna to wanna to focus, pause this again, rewind it, play it again. After you make a shape, you go up to Object, Arrange, Send to Back. And when you do that, you'll see that you have that clean outline. So let me do that again, ready? I'm gonna remove my fill, go up to my pen tool. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'll zoom in a little bit so I can see a little bit better. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start here and I'm gonna to try to kind of encircle an area of color in this case, there we go. I'm gonna do like this darker bit that's going around the eye like this. You can always hit Control Z if you don't like what you did, like I didn't particularly like what I did right there. But what I'm doing here is I'm squinting my eyes and I'm just kind of trying to see where, uh, where that black color or that darker color is. And then I'm just trying to make a little fence around it. Okay, so like that. Boom. And then from here, I can jump across like this. It doesn't matter what I do, again, because I'm about to send this to the back, so you'll never see that part. So I go to my eyedropper tool again, select a pixel within this space that sort of represents it, like that, boom. And then I go object, arrange, send to back. Now, the skill I'm showing you here is like, it's, it's something you can get better at. It's a, it's, a, it's a skill that you can practice and get good at. The artistic part of this is where to make the lines, right? So the artistic part of this is where you wanna identify the color change um, in, the, in the piece that you're trying to convert. So you're, uh, you might remember like, I've, well, some of you are probably familiar with because I showed it in class, but if you're not, there's the Obama Hope poster that's very famous for this style. And there's not a ton of variation, like the entire right side of his face is blue, the left side is red. So the choice was made by Shepard Ferry in that case to make these big sweeping sort of elegant curves to, to create this. You could also just go, you know, really, really detailed and pixel by pixel, but I'll show you uh, what I mean as I go. All right, so now I'm gonna, you know, kind of squint your eyes a little bit, blur your eyes and it helps you identify where you're gonna make this next shape. Whoops, this is a good example. I messed up because I forgot to take my fill off. So while I'm still connected to my pen tool, I can just move on over here, remove the fill, come back up, no harm done. Okay, so I'm gonna go around the, this area. Now it's not gonna be a perfect, it's not exactly, the part I'm going around is not all exactly that same color. I'm just making a choice that I want all of this zone here to be this color. So I go to my eyedropper tool. I'll pick one of these like light brownish hazel colors. I'll go object, arrange, send it back. And then there you go, you can start to see it. 
Right now it's still a bit of a mess. That's because we're really hyper-focused on a highly detailed area. As I zoom out, you're gonna be able to see exactly what's going on. All right, so I go to my pen tool, remove the stroke or the fill rather. I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna go across the bottom eye area here. Although I don't want to think about it as an eye, it's only chunks of color. I can go all the way around like this. It doesn't matter where I go, you see that? Because I'm about to fill it and send it to the back. I go to my eyedropper tool. I click in here, I select the, the pixel that I'd like it to look. I think I want it to look a little lighter because it looks kind of cool. Object, arrange, sends you back like that. And now what you get, you're gonna start to see it starts to become a cool stylized version of this eye. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I gotta clear my throat. And so here I go uh, back in, I'm gonna go to my pen tool. I'm gonna remove the fill and I'll do the, the white of his eye here. Now here's an important thing. When I, I keep referring to his facial features and it's really not that important that I do that. I don't really care that it's a face. If I'm, really, if I'm wanting to be good at this skill, the only thing I wanna do is just encircle air chunks of color. Now you might notice that that's dark gray up there. There's a little white spot here. Uh, this is not all the same color, but that's okay. That's a choice I'm gonna make as I'm creating it. So I'll go to my eyedropper tool. I'll click somewhere in here that represents the color of that space. You see that right there? Object, arrange, send it back. Now you might look at that and be like, well, that's his cornea. That should be the whites of his eyes and it's not white. Well, that doesn't matter. We're not concerned with any of that right now because what we're doing is we're converting a photograph. We're just using the, the colors that are on that. Now, there is another level of this where you can put your own colors on it, but that's not what I'm showing you right now. Okay, so go to my pen tool, remove the fill. Whoopsie, make sure I've selected, I forgot to click away from it. Go to my pen tool remove the fill, and now I'm gonna jump in and do this side of his eye. So in this case, I'm just kind of following around this area. Once I get to here, I can just jump across. It doesn't matter once again, because I'm about to send this to the back. I go to my eyedropper tool, click on something like that, object, arrange, send it back. So now you might be looking at that and be like, well, one side's that color, one side's that color. Well, that's just because of the way the lighting is. So there's like a shadow happening. So you wanna just, Go with what it gives you. Don't try to make it white or whatever, or else it'll look really weird. Okay, so that's a way to do this. Now I'm gonna show you a little bit more of this as we move out and you'll see what I'm talking about. General goal here, to zoom out for a moment, what we're attempting to do here is this. We're trying to analyze the photograph as we move. I'm gonna, I'm gonna illustrate this by using the paintbrush. Don't actually use a paintbrush. What we wanna do is we just wanna see chunks of color. We're basically slicing this up into like a, like a stained glass window okay so like if you can see like this area here roughly I mean it's not perfect but that area right there is all sort of the same color and this is where that artistic choice comes into mind where you make these these choices is what's going to make your project look cooler or whatever okay so down here look I'm just encircling areas where the color looks about the same right and hopefully you can see what I'm talking about this doesn't really have anything to do with actually doing it. I just want you to see the concept of what I'm talking about. These colors are all sort of roughly the same color. These areas that I'm in, uh, encircling. Like that. So this is what I want you to, to be thinking about while you're doing your conversion, right? When you zoom out a little bit, you can see like these are all going to be singular shapes in a moment. And it's going to give this really unique, interesting look to it. Okay, so let me... Re Get rid of all that so I can show you how to do it. Okay, so we've got the eye. So let me jump in back in with what I was doing. Let me make sure I remove the stroke and remove the fill. We don't need any of that. <clears throat> I'm gonna go over to my pen tool. And when I come in like this, uh, here I go. I wanna just make sure that the next line I make is connected to the previous one that I did. That's why we wanna, the next shape I make. The reason for that is uh, because, watch, you'll see. I'm gonna come in here. I'll go around this like sort of black part of the eye. Again, I'm just trying to get, uh, trying to encircle areas that are like roughly the same color. So by doing that, I can come down like that. It's not exactly right, but it's okay. These, this will be good. So I go to my eyedropper tool, select that area, object, arrange, send it back. The reason we're doing the object, arrange, send it back is because we want to, we want the shapes to overlap so that you can get this really smooth clean space right here, like this line right here. We don't want to have gaps between our shape or else it'll throw off the illusion here. Okay, so here I go. I'm going to remove 
my, uh, I'm gonna click away from it, go to my pen tool, remove the fill, and then continue working. I'm gonna move down the side of his face here so you can see larger chunks, um, so you can see what I'm talking about. But like, let's say right here, this is a pinkish area. I'm just kind of going around that area like this. Actually, this kind of goes up. This is kind of the same color as this up here. As you're going and as you're analyzing it, you'll you'll notice like, oh yeah, there's there's more of that color over this way. So there we go. I'm gonna make a choice there. Boom. Go to my eyedropper, touch it, object, arrange, send to back. Like that. So now I'm going to just move on into the rest of his face. I'm not going to do this entire piece, but I'm just going to show you some and then, we'll, then I can leave it at that. So if I go to my pen tool again, now we are, we're out into the face. There's going to be larger areas of, of color. So I can go in here like this. Oh, I forgot to do it again. What did I forget to do? If you're following along at home, I forgot to take off the fill. So the reason for that is it just makes it a little bit easier to deal with. So you can actually see where you're going as you're kind of creating this fence around that particular color. Come around to like that, go to my eyedropper tool, click it, object, arrange, send it back. And now we're off and running. Once you make it out of the eye, once you make it out of the more complicated, detailed, smaller parts, it becomes quite a bit easier. Um, so again, I was going over that those areas uh, that we're going to encircle here. I'm going to go around this now. I keep forgetting to take off my fill. Little chunk of color here. It looks good. It goes up around. You can see that if you follow around it, you can really walk through. You can walk around like the same area of color, and it kind of extends maybe even further than you first thought as you're going. You just have to constantly be making decisions about where you want to make that that, uh, that fence go, you know, where do you want, where do you want to encircle? In this case, I'm just going around this area because it's all kind of the same color. You know, I'm just following where the, the light takes me. And then I just made a choice right there. You see, I slashed across right there. That's because I think that's going to look cool. Uh, you, you're not just a converting machine. You have to make choices uh, along the way, like artistic choices. That's where the art, the art part comes into this. So like that will look, I, I've done this a number of times. I've got an idea that that'll look pretty rad later. Uh, so here I go, I'm gonna continue to do, I'll do a couple more shapes and then I'll kind of uh, wrap it up here in just a sec. So I go to my pen tool, I click on here and now I'm gonna come down the face a little bit I'll, or actually I'll do this part here. Just kind of highlight he's got going on right there. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Sample, object, arrange, send it back. I can do it again on his jaw here and then I'll be done. All right, so then look, check this out. Last one here. So in this this in this case, I'll just do the whole the whole piece because like I was saying earlier that Obama piece um, that we that we analyzed the Obama piece that we analyzed had big huge chunks of color so like for the in, in this case what if I just decide to uh, change my opinion here or instead of doing like all these little bits I could just come down here and go all the way down to like his jaw here like this and now I mean I know you know too we can look at it and see that I'm, I'm actually encircling various types various colors in this case but again you can make that choice as the artist like what part do you want to have um, all in the same you know, shape all in the same grouping here. So I go here, boom, sample, object, arranged in the back. You're going to see that it starts to look really, really unique and interesting. Um, so what, what I've been creating here this whole time is this. Basically, when I zoom out, you can see that it's kind of his face, right? But when I pop out the background, you start to see that it's going to end up looking almost exactly like him. It's going to be like a, a unique sort of stylized version of this. You see that? And you can do this, you can pop this in and out and be like, eh, did I make that too dark? Yeah, maybe I did, maybe I wanna adjust that or whatever. Maybe I'm missing a little bit of that cheekbone. But as you're doing that, it's just like a process, okay? 
So again, what we're looking for here, the whole idea, the whole artistic point behind this, other than the skill of doing the conversion, is that you can identify where these light, where the light changes and where to encircle and do it in a stylistic way. So like if I was gonna do the other side of his face here, I might, you know, I'll just go mentally, I'll just show you, hopefully you can see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna come in here with the pen tool. I'm thinking in my brain, like there's an area of color right there, right? So there's an area there. Uh, here's an area of color right there. There's one right here. So like just by, I'm, I'm outlining this to illustrate sort of where I would make these, these lines if I was doing it on this side of the face as well. So you can see like that, maybe you come up like this. And you can see by doing this, you can, these choices that I'm making are what's gonna make the art look cool, right? Like where I decide to put these, these lines or where I decide to actually chop it up is the important part. So I can come through like that. And all these different little bits are different shapes uh, of color. So what I'm talking about here, as you can see, and then what you get at the end of this process is you get like a really unique style. And it's it's uh, it's a little challenging to do what I just did there. I know this is sort of complex, but once you get the hang of it, you can make stuff that just looks really, really unique and interesting. Um, so anyway, that's kind of the concept on this side. And this is the skill on this side. So we wanna use that pen tool and really craft beautiful, like elegant curves and lines to make you know, essentially like sort of stained glass window versions of these people uh, or of your, of the image that you're trying to convert. Uh, when you do that, you just get this really cool stylist or like this really cool style that's really useful in graphic design. Mastering this pen tool and mastering this idea of like converting to vector uh, designs is really useful. And uh, hopefully that was helpful. I'll add a second, um, video in this series to show you guys how to kind of like finalize everything but for now i want you to really really focus on this and try to get good at this particular skill